All right. Well, actually, let's stick with this because we we kind of brought this up in a roundabout way. But our next Samus percentages is this. Metroid Prime 4 debuts on the successor to the Nintendo Switch. So, I'm not talking, like, I guess we have to define successor. I'm talking, like, the Switch 2 or, like, the Switch to the Wii U. Something like that. I'm not talking, like, like the Switch OLED or, like, a, a Switch Pro or anything like that. I'm talking, like, the next Switch is what Metroid Prime 4 would debut on if... That is, you know, how we're doing it. Uh, what do you think? So just that release, not like a dual release? Just I think you could say, the... yeah, I think you could say that it has a dual release. I think that that counts as well. Um, but just mm -hmm. just that this game will debut on a system that is not the Nintendo Switch as we know it. Mm, I'd say 50-50. Go either way for me. I'll just stick with 50%. I think it could happen. I think it's this is likely not to happen i mean if All they right. want to do the same if they want to do the same thing with breath of the wild 2 they could do it i mean i wouldn't be surprised if that gets delayed again give it give but, us um, a 51 or a 49 i'm gonna put you on the spot okay we'll say 51 there you go Ooh, okay it's 51 yeah. percent of debuts on the new switch okay um well, first of all to react to something that you just said I think Breath of the Wild 2 is getting delayed again. I think it's going to happen. Yep. And I think... I think it's going to happen. I think that, which is incredibly frustrating for me, a Zelda fan who runs a Zelda website. Uh, but I think that if that... If this supposed Nintendo Direct that is hypothetically going to take place in September, that has not been announced, and maybe... I don't know. Maybe we're just waiting for it. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. But I think that if Zelda is not shown in a very very prominent way in that direct there ain't no chance it's coming out in spring 2023 there's no chance uh so for, first of all just to throw that out there um i think that i think that i could see so I, actually sticking with zelda here for a second because i've heard a lot of people say like oh they're saving breath of the wild 2 for the next switch or the switch pro i don't think that's the case at all i, I don't, don't think, think that's, that's the case no. no i mean Everything we've seen from that game looks the same, smells the same, tastes the same as the first Breath of the Wild. So I just, I, I don't think so. Um, if the later, the later it gets pushed back, the more chance of it having a dual release. That's what yes. I'm saying. But it's, but it's, but, but it's being designed with a Switch in mind. I will say that I think that it, I think Zelda is going to get delayed again, but I don't think that it will get delayed out of 2023. I think the game will release sometime in the in this year, just not in the spring like they promised. Um, yeah, particular, yeah. I think Wind Waker and Twilight Princess will determine that. If they're releasing it, this rumor of being released, then they'll probably try and push out Breath of the Wild 2 more, I think. My Samus percentage on that coming true is 5%. That, you know what? I, this is a tangent, a side tangent, but I actually looked for the last four years running from 2019, 21, 20, 22, there have been rumors specifically that Metroid Prime HD, Wind Waker HD, and Twilight Princess HD are releasing on Nintendo <laughs> Switch this year. I found reports from four separate years that's just like this is a t this is the year. So I don't I don't buy that for for a second. Metroid Prime HD I can see, but definitely not the other two. Anyways, um, so I don't think Zelda is coming out on the Switch too. I could see I could see Metroid Prime Four coming out on the successor to the Nintendo Switch. I could see that um, because. Who know? I mean, who knows when this game is coming? If it came out in 2023, I, that would almost seem a little bit early, considering that they essentially just started development on it in what, like 2018 or 2019, something like that. Um, so yeah, I, yeah. I could see. I, I think that that's definitely more possible than Breath of the Wild 2 coming out on the successor to the Switch. I don't I, like. I think that it would have to be a dual release because, like, that's kind of a big middle finger to like Metroid fans that bought a Nintendo Switch. Not that we haven't been graced with Metroid Dread or you know any of that, but I think that if you're gonna say that it's coming out for a system, that it has to come out for a system. So I think that Metroid Prime Four will play on the Switch, but I I think that I could see it coming out on the next Nintendo console as well. You, I mean, really, you just have to ask yourself two questions, like. When do we think the next Nintendo console is coming out? And when do we think Metro Prime... Like, how far away do we think that game is? 
So I think Metroid Prime is probably like a 2024 game, like Metroid Prime 4. And I could see the next Nintendo console coming out in 2024 because that's been seven years since the Switch. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say 70% on this. I think it all hinders on um, when the new Switch comes out, which, which again, also depends on the chip shortage. We'll see. I well, mean, they really have no incentive to release a new Switch. Like, Switch no, they don't. Awesome. And, I mean, and you see with um, PlayStation 5 and, and the new Xbox, right? Mm-hmm. They've had shortage after shortage. It's still going on. But, like, Sony in particular have lost a lot of headway. A lot of headway that they gained from the PS4 because they're not able to stock enough PS5s. So... Yeah, and I I don't know, and it'll, yeah, if China goes to war with Taiwan, then yeah, well, I don't know. There's so many factors at play, so well, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I think the chances are, I think they're good that Metro Prime Four launches on the next uh, the next console.